Hey everyone, it's me, Crystal, again from I'm Not My Hair Boo. I felt that it was only right that we come back with an update. Um, so let's let's go over um, what has been going on with me lately. Um, those that haven't watched, I've had um, orbital decompression of both eyes. On July 1st, I had it initially done on the left eye. Then on July 15th, I had it done to the right eye. Um, let's see. Um... October, I had um, reconstructive surgery done of the bottom lids. Um, then, was that done in October? No, I, it had to be done before October. Um, let me see, July, August, September. And then I came, went back in October for revision. Um... Then in January, I had my left eye wasn't sitting back um, properly, so I had the floor of my um, of my left eye socket removed. So then again, they did rebalancing and revision to my lids as well. Um, let's see. So currently, um, the last update, I was having double vision. I still have double vision, um, and I still don't have feeling in this portion of my face um but i do have occasional nerve pain um which would say that the nerves are um returning back and that feeling wouldn't be too far off um they estimated that um the length of time that i would probably regain feeling back in my face would be october um so um it's a waiting process also um this video is mainly um will cover um about my gastric sleeve process that i also went through um process that i've been going through um it is a part of my um ophthalmology i want to say surgical plan um because as i gain weight i gain fat tissue behind my eyes and which would push my eyes back out of the socket um, the main reason to have the surgery for me to have orbital decompression was because after having a CT, it showed that um, my eyes did not sit, my eyes didn't sit properly back in my head because my um, my orbitals weren't large enough to house my eyes, so they had to go in and remove bone. Um, they had to remove bone. They had to remove bone behind my nose, right here. They had to pretty much reshape the area so that my eyes could go back um i was having um headaches my eyes were coming out um more frequently um this started when i was at the age of 15 um i'm now 35 um so guess how long it took it took a pretty long time for someone to figure out what was wrong with me um doctors from i'm in the state of louisiana from here to texas um, just wanted to give me pain medicine, um, but um, I do thank God for um, my ophthalmologist that I do have um, in the team of my ophthalmologists that um, work alongside her with me um, to help me. Um, so now um, I haven't, um, the last time my eyes came out of my head um, was in May, yeah, May or June. I want to say June. Yeah, the last time my eyes came out were in June. Um, they had to tighten my bottom lids um, because they were retracting underneath my eyes. Um, the main issue that they were doing before when my eyes were coming out, they will retract behind my eyes. My top lid will retract back. My top lid hasn't retracted back yet. Um, it would get it would go like this and get stuck but it wouldn't go back like it would normally do and my eye will come out and sit about right here but normally my eyes before the orbital decompression they sat in this area they sat right here um so pretty much um if you look at an ice cream cone and if you if you don't pack the ice cream down inside the cone there's only a tip of the ice cream that sits on that that's inside of the cone net when it sits on top of there and that's how much of my eye was in the socket okay so let's get back to um the gastric sleeve 
Um, I was referred by my ophthalmologist to the um to my gastroenterologist. Um and he decided that the best um way for me to go with weight loss surgery would be to do the gastric sleeve because um if I did the um bypass at my age it would send me into earlier osteoporosis um from um from what he stated. Um, I did do several researches into other procedures. Lap band, I didn't want that. I didn't want to constantly go back for restriction um, filling. I didn't want to um, feel any type of mechanisms in me um, because there are rods in which they have to um, send the um, thing, um, the tubes in to inject into the lap band to, um, to make it tighten or restrict. I didn't want that. Um, in gastric bypass um i've heard so many horror stories about it and i've heard good stories about it as well but um i didn't want i didn't want that um now i i did consider the dual dental switch in which they did and when they do the dual dental switch it's like removing it's like doing a sleeve gastrectomy also in a bypass in one um my doctor stated that um that would not that would not be something that I would visit at this moment. He stated that if there was uh, come a time when I get older, say within my fifties or sixties, that um I need that done. That that is a bailout process in which I should do it then. Um, now the balloon. He thought I was about to ask about the balloon, and he clicked out on me, and he told me, um. If anybody gets the balloon, they need to just continue to go on a yo-yo diet and don't waste their money. Um, so we will be doing the sleeve um, gastrectomy. Um, my sleeve. Um, I have two surgery dates. Um, most likely my date will be on the fourteenth, but um, it is scheduled for June first as well as the fourteenth of June. Um, he said my stent. The doctors and, and my nurse stated that my stay in the hospital will be two days. So I will go in, um, have the sleeve done, um, and then I will be um I will have the um the the bulbs set up so that the like the drainage bulbs. Um after the drainage bulbs are removed the next day I will then will be given fluids um so they can see if I can hold down fluids as well as to see if my um my new stomach is, is leaking. Um, after that, I would just have to walk around a bit the next day, um, probably do a final test and then they will send me home. So it'll be one day and two nights. Um, I can't say that, um, I'm nervous, but I am excited, um, to get the process going. Um, my highest weight I would say would be... If I weighed myself in January of 2015, and oh, it, you wouldn't believe. Okay, I weighed myself in Bed Bath & Beyond. And that scale told me I was at three, I want to say 348. So at 348, um, I want to say that was around February or January of 2014. Um... Then after surgery, I guess, um, not, not being able to, not, not eating properly or just, just, um, going by the way that I feel, um, I wasn't eating as much. So, um, doing after the, um, my, um, my orbital decompression, I did lose weight. I lost, um, I lost at least, um, I was at 338. Um, then, um, waiting to go to, um, waiting for my appointment for, for my, um, gastroenterologist. Um, I then, um, did a lifestyle change, decided to, um, eat cleaner, eat better and, um, eat healthier. So by the time I seen him, I was at, um, 328. So currently now we are at 3.08. So um, hopefully before surgery, 
I can get the eight pounds off. Um, I really the uh, an ideal number for me to go into surgery with is two ninety seven, two ninety nine, just so I can break the three hundred. Um, so um, I will be hopefully um that day I can come and do some vlogs and do updates while I'm in the hospital, give you um my experience as it goes. Um, again, I've bought, um, I bought vitamins, I've bought, um, I brought protein shakes, um, I haven't bought much of a lot of different things because I don't want to get it and then after, um, my surgery, I'm just not happy with the taste of the, the stuff and, um, everyone, um, everyone I've talked to pretty much states that, um, I have a friend that had it done two years ago, states that you've, you've bought all this stuff and then when you get home, your taste buds, your tastes have changed and now it's like, it's the nastiest stuff in the world. So, um, just, um, excited about the process and, um, ready to get it on, um, get it going. Um, because at the current moment, we do have um, sleep apnea, we have high blood pressure, um, we are pre-diabetic. Um, again, um, um, it was recommended that I have it done because my weight needs to be managed because if I gain um, gain weight, I also gain fat tissue behind my eyes, which would um, push my eyes back out. And then um, I don't want, I, I, I don't want to have to go in and do, um, orbital fat decompression again um i've had orbital fat decompression as well as orbital decompression i don't want to have the fat decompress um, a second time um so we're trying to make to make sure that i don't have to have um any more eye surgeries that's unneeded so but um back to the eyes um i'm still having um um it itches but i can't scratch it it's irritating um so Back to the eyes, um, at the current moment, I have involuntary muscle spasms in which my eyes close and it opens at will. It does what it, it wants to. Um, what else? Um, pain, yeah, I still have um, pain. Too much movement. I have um, pain in this area, headaches. feel like a rubber band is wrapped around my head um, and squeezing the life out of me. Um, so my, um, and I still have double vision. My ophthalmologist has, um, will have me to take an MRI within the next week or two or so, um, to make sure that, um, everything is connected properly to the brain and to make sure to figure out what's, um, going on, um, with the eye sockets as well as, um, was going on with the double vision so they want to just um look at my brain and look at my eye sockets in detail so um yeah so we're still doing that and we're still doing the weight loss um i have other things i'm doing again this my channel is called i'm not my hair boo it started off as a hair channel um but when i when i when i made the name i'm not my hair boo is that um I knew that there will be other things that I will come on here and talk about and share because clearly I'm not my hair, I'm not my eyes, I'm not my weight. Um, none of that defines me, but what defines me is my is my character, who I am. And so I'm here to share that with you all. Um, so I will be back with updates. Um, I guess I've outstayed my welcome long enough. So y'all have a great evening and I'll be back.